Hey guys, Nicole here. Um, so I have a couple more kits that I got made this morning. And um, I'm kind of laughing because this first kit ends up like completely throwing me off. I, I don't know if I'm getting a little burnout or whatever, but <laughs> um, I started to put this kit together and I just didn't love the colors. I started out by adding in teal because the base kit was green, like black, gray, and white. And that was okay, but not a favorite color combo of mine. It would have made it really easy to just put the kit together, just pulling some of those you know, colors and calling it good. But I knew that I probably wouldn't appreciate scrapping with those colors so much. And so I decided to um, add in this teal blue. And there were multiple um, little cards in this booklet that had the, that blue and green together. And so I'm like thinking that that's perfect. And so I go with that. I think this will be a better color combination. I can do more with that. Because I knew that up, coming up I had a kit that was that same piece of paper. But I had paired it with like a, a bright pink and black and white with some yellow. And so I knew that there was another kit similarly coming up that had different colors with it. So I thought this teal blue would be perfect. Well, then as I'm going through the sticker sheets and things, which I will be doing here shortly, I decide that there's a sticker sheet that um, matches this kit very nicely, but not with the teal blue and <laughs> other colors added. So I end up completely rearranging this kit, which is totally a Nicole thing to do. And I end up like combining because I had like probably three or four more page kits that I didn't really have much added to because I'd ran out of the the um, layering uh, pieces. And so they were sitting on top and then I realized, well, they're from the same line as a sticker sheet, which meshed mostly with what I had sitting in front of me, except a couple of the papers I end up pulling out. I end up switching out some. And so I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to put them because I didn't have them. They were all kind of together anyways, just in separate page kits. And this, the line I'm talking about is um, So Happy by My Mind's Eye. But the sticker sheet that I met, I combine it with isn't from that, I don't think. Oh, yes, it is. Yes, it is. So what I end up kind of end up doing is making my own little mini <laughs> um uh, manufacturer kit um, because they were they they are they were what happened to be on the bottom of the pile and that I didn't have many other pieces added to those kits so I'm like I'll just combine them because they don't have stuff added to them anyway yet and so I decide to go ahead and just combine all the so happy papers along with. A couple of the papers I started off with here, and then um, I think I add in one other of the crepe paper ones that match like the light pink, like the blush pink color, and just throw the I just because and the reason I ended up doing that and making you know kind of tripling the size of this page kit was because I wanted just to put the whole sticker sheet in there. Like I didn't want to cut out all these pieces, and I think that's why maybe I'm getting a little burnout, and I probably need to take a break. Uh, because the process is getting a little less fun, and I think I've just been doing it a lot, and I need to, like I said, take a break from the product a little bit. Um, but I, so what I do is I add in the, the sticker sheet, and then I had like a tiny piece of the other 12 by 12 sticker sheet that matched the line, and then combine them together, and then continue to build the kit from there with the other embellishments and stickers and things. And so... Um, this is just where kind of going with the flow kind of has to happen. Um, I wasn't feeling the green, black, and white. It wasn't a color combo that I loved. And it just kind of got me to the point where I was putting together a kit that was very matchy. But And the main thing that kind of got me to that point was because the sticker sheet had this red color in there. And I had tried to add in this six, uh, extra 6x6 six six sheet that I had laying around that was red, a polka dot one. But it was too burgundy red. It didn't match. And so I, I, you'll see I keep it in 
in the kit here for a little while and then I end up pulling it out like it just it's too dark it does not match and so I'm like well I know I have some other papers from this collection that had that same that color of red and so that's why I decided you know what these none of these were paired with um layering embellishments anyway these were all kind of what I had left after I ran out so I'm just going to combine them all and make a larger a larger kit so um it's not huge or anything but it, you know I just it just made sense for me at that point because they were kind of, you know, they were most of what my loose papers were to start with. So it, I'm ha I'm okay keeping them together. Um, so then that solved my problem with the colors that were in the sticker sheet, obviously, because they all match. Um, but then I end up pulling out the, the paper that had the green and all the cards that I had taken time to pull out at the beginning because it just no longer looked like I wanted it to. So it's just one of those things that, uh, like I said, just go with the flow, go with what you know you're going to scrapbook with, like what you're going to like. And I know that this color combination and, you know, I probably shouldn't have thrown in the whole sticker sheet, but because I had the whole collection there and it's going to be probably more like a two or three page kit, um, I was okay doing that. Um, but I'm trying to avoid doing that, but I also do that in the next kit <laughs> because I'm like, this whole sheet matches this entire kit. And, um, and that's where I know I'm, I knew I was going to struggle with this process, but also, you know, something else I thought about too, was a lot of times I will make a kit based on a sticker sheet. And that was what this initial kit was based off of. And so I'm like, you know what, just put the whole sheet in there and, um, and just go with it. And then, like I said, I can forward on some of the stickers through the next kits, but there, I also know that a lot of my future page kits that I have going on here are, are a lot of like a different color scheme we're, we'll be getting into. Um, well, kind of, I don't know. I might have to go back and cut some of, some of my, some of those out. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, because I didn't want to, to do that. So I might have to just go back and pull out any 12 by 12 sheets I just added to these kits and then like maybe just cut them in half and like not think too hard about it. That's what I've been doing with like the letter stickers and the letter, like the, the words and phrase stickers is I just cut them down like and did like three lines and then threw them in the kit. I didn't look at the words. I didn't look at the phrases. I just, um, if the colors worked, then I just put part of it in there and maybe I need to go back and just kind of maybe quarter them. Um, so I'll see if I come up, come up with some future page kits that have those exact same colors. Um, I'll probably just go back and maybe just quarter it or half it and just put half stickers in one kit and half in the other. <laughs> we'll see, I guess I knew this was going to be kind of a struggle for me because, um, I, I like, I like my embellishments and I like to bulk these kits up. And so like limiting myself, knowing I have lots of other kits yet that I need to add embellishments to, it's just, it's hard for me. So I might have to go back a little bit and that's okay. It's not a big deal if I have to go back and share a little bit. <laughs> as far as the loose pieces though, like the the smaller sticker sheets and the, the rummage bin and those things, I think I'm doing pretty good at just, you know, kind of randomly grabbing them, what works um, you know, taking off some brads that, that work. Um, some of them, if there's like lots of, there's maybe like five brads left on the entire thing and they all match that page kit, I'll just throw them in there. Um, but I want this to be make, I want this to be successful in using my products. So I don't want to have a ton of leftovers at the end of each of these page kits. Like my goal is to use the product. Um, I know I can move them forward and keep them accessible to me, but um, I, I'm going to have to work at not adding too much to these. I already know that's going to be my issue. So you can see as I'm trying to figure out what I want to do here and I'm just kind of messing around with things and... <laughs> Um, and my app is back to where it's not rolling on the big screen, so I can't really see totally what I'm doing um, specifically, so I apologize. I'd like to talk more specifically about what I'm actually doing. I don't know why it works sometimes, and sometimes it doesn't. I just, I don't know. Um, I've never had problems with this app. It's always just ran really smoothly for me, so I don't know if it was because my video was, if it's like after, if it's so long, 
but this one isn't, is one of my shorter ones. So I don't know, who knows? But anyway, um, so you'll see I through the, from beginning to end of this kit, I make adjustments constantly until I finally get it to where I look down at the groups of papers and I like it. And sometimes that's just what you have to do. And like I said, you have to have a kit that you know you're going to want to play with and want to use. And so by the end of this, I was like, okay, these are some really fun colors. And I actually, at the, at, at the end of this particular kit, I actually... Um, put all the embellishments and stickers aside. I roll out the papers again, you know, kind of fan them out, make a couple more adjustments just t by my eye telling me, okay, this line was more cream based and this white and black Amy Tangerine paper is not fitting. But when I went to my extra paper stash to put it, that away, I found another smaller polka dot paper that was is not quite as creamy as the my mind's eye papers but it, the polka dots were a lot more muted and stuff and, and it was a, a darker white and so I just switched it so um so I, ha I, I still had some papers in this kit that were not from that collection because that's my goal is I want to mix together different collections and mix together different product and use up these leftover pieces and that's the goal so um, and I just grab again, a variety of things from each bin. And that just ensures that I'm going to have a variety of dimension and types of pieces to play with. And, you know, whether it be brads or flare or, um, you know, or vellum pieces, you know, on the opposite side of the spectrum, the vellum pieces or these, you know, clear stickers or whatever, like it's, I want to make sure I have a good variety to work from. So, um, I'm trying to figure out what I, where I'm at in this process here. Um, Sorry, I'm trying to see what I'm doing here. I'm probably still working with this first kit because it took me a while. I really want these to get faster. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do live ones. Maybe I'll do a couple here or there. I just feel like I need to get a little bit quicker and better at it um, before I do live ones. And hopefully I can get them done quick, faster than 20 minutes per kit. Like that's a little much for me. For me. So I just need to um, hone in my page kit skills here. <laughs> um, and I think once I get down, you know, down a little ways where I have already a really good start on the making of the kit itself, like beyond just the papers, like the layering pieces, I think that will be easier. I feel like maybe these first ones were hard to start off with because I just had the papers. And so I was kind of doing that part of the process again, as far as figuring out what colors I want to add to it. And so maybe that's why I think maybe when I get down further into my, my pile, I will, um, I'll have a, a better start to the, to this part of the process, but because I've already kind of solidified the, the colors that I'm, um, you know, specifically keeping within the kit, if that makes any sense whatsoever. <laughs> Cause you know, if I use a pattern paper that's multicolor, then I pull, um, I want to pull those, those colors out in individual pieces. And so when I've already started to do that, then I don't have to kind of do that again. I can just say, okay, I have, these are the colors I have and I'm not adding any more colors to it. Like these, it's like, well, I don't have anything added to it yet. I can do whatever I want. And then that just takes a little bit longer. So I think that's maybe was, maybe was the issue, um, but, um, trying to figure out if I move on to the second kit yet or not. I don't think so. So I'm just doing, yeah, I just wanted to get a couple quick ones done before I have to head out for the day. I have a hair appointment, which is, um, a good day, right? Uh, three hours of just, well, maybe not quite three that two hours, about two and a half hours of just relaxing in a chair, letting someone pamper me a little bit. 
Um, and then it's getting the kids um, from school and off to dance and stuff. So I had this morning available to just do a couple more kits. And um, I decided what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and kit them up and bag them up. And then if and then I'll go kind of bag by bag. And if I have leftover random pieces, then I'll just attribute them to random bags that look like the colors match. I think that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> Very scientific, I know. Um, what else? Let's see, last night we had a birthday party for my nephew turned 18, which is crazy. He's so sweet. He's adopted from India. And I just remember the day that he came home for the first time, like, or not home, home, like we weren't there. That was just his, his parents. But, um, the first time we met him after they got him home and, um, oh my God, I can't believe it's been that long. It's crazy how time flies, which is why I love this hobby because, oh my goodness, I can go back. Like actually he was even here. I'm actually taking his senior pictures and he was here we were doing some pre kind of pre-pictures for um his senior banner at school and just to like play around a little bit figure things out before we did the, the actual official ones and he was he I got out all the Mac and family scrapbooks and he and his girlfriend looked through them and you know there were a bunch of pictures of him when he was little and um they really appreciated it so again that's why I love this hobby. I love, love, love it. Um, and so that is why we why we do this, right? It's it's um it's part of it. So I'm kind of seeing that I am now in the part of the process where I'm getting some st other stickers. Like I don't have enough stickers, and I think I'm gonna have to use a lot of pop dots because I, I'm i noticing, be, I mean, I have some dimensional pieces, but not a ton. So I think I'm going to have to be pop dotting probably a lot. But um, I'm getting a lot of these random banners used up and these those arrow stickers have been on my stash for a while. I do go back at the end of this kit and cut that in half so I can save, you know, three of them for another kit. Again, I don't want to just throw in full sheets of stickers. Like that wasn't the point of this was to, you know, just throw in full sheets of stickers and make a kit. I wanted to divvy these, all these sticker sheets and chipboard sticker sheets and loose pieces up into these kits and not, you know, not be out of product halfway through the, through the game. So I do a little bit more paring down before I actually call it good. But um, again, for me, that's the tough part is is, is uh, figuring out where to stop and how much I need. And But anyway, so what else can I talk about while we're watching me f fiddle with this darn kit? <laughs> um I had two more smaller sticker sheets that I just cut the alphas off of. And um, I'll just, like I said, have those separately. And, oh, no. Um, sorry, I'm going to actually put these in bags while I'm thinking about it. I'm sitting here in front of me. The next kit is smaller. It's like a normal, um, I keep, you know, just work with the papers that are in the kit, but I, silly me, added an entire sticker sheet as well. Um, but like I said, I might go back and change that. So we'll see. And my dog is going crazy. So either UPS is here or the trash guy's here. <laughs> we'll see what happens. So I'm kind of thinking because I'm back to work tomorrow. Uh, I work tomorrow through Saturday. Actually, I work tomorrow through Friday. I have Saturday off, but Saturday we have a couple of things going on with the kiddos. And then it's like full-blown packing, cleaning, stuff like that. This will probably be my last video for a while as far as making these kits. Maybe. We'll see. It depends. If I get back in the mood um, tonight or in the, these next couple of evenings, I might be back. But I have a feeling this will probably be 
my last um, page kit video until until we get back. And so it might be a while, which is okay because I think it's time for me to probably take a break. I Not that I don't like this process, um, but sometimes you just need to you know, take a little break for a little while. So I'll probably kind of pack it up and put it in a section of my room um, and then, or just stack it, you know, so that when I get home, I can work on my Hawaii album right away if I, if that's what I feel like doing. And so there might be a little bit of a pause in this process, but that's okay. I've uploaded like a bazillion videos for you guys and I know they're not that interesting because I'm just putting products together. <laughs> I'm not scrapbooking. I'm not, you know, giving you any, you know, amazing wisdom. I'm uh, just chatting about my life and, and, and putting papers and products together. And so it's okay. Like if you guys don't like these videos, just skip them. Um, you know, I know there's something different. I know I, for some reason, really like to watch, watch these types of videos. Like I said, Nicole Jones is who got me thinking about this. And I just liked watching her and hearing her talk. And, you know, some sometimes part of the hobby, the fun part of the hobby is um, just playing with the product, right? <laughs> um, and so that's why this has been super fun for me. And um, especially, and, and just knowing that I'm, I'm, putting myself in a more successful place as far as using some of these older pieces. Now the project user stash overall kit theme or um, yeah, video series. I still have probably, I know I've completely, I have a playlist going. I probably need to add these most recent ones to it yet. But I think did I have, how many did I make? 14 maybe 14 or 17 or something. So I have like, all these massive kits, like, I mean, some of them aren't huge, but um, sitting around my room, but I have finished some of them. I have, like, gotten them out and scrapbooked with them and made multiple layouts from each kit. And so this process has been very successful for me as far as I'm going to pull out three old sticker sheets and I'm going to find papers that match them and embellishments that match and I'm going to mix in some new with some old and I'm going to make this kit and make sure that I use this product. And I think that that is why I love this process because I know that the the homemade kits I've made so far have been um, very successful. I've made a lot of layouts from them. And, you know... It's not a ton different from like my regular home made kits that I make. Um, but as you know, if you've watched the project use your stash from the beginning, it started from a different place. It's, it didn't start from, I'm going to just make a kit and scrapbook with it. It started from, I'm going to make multiple kits at one time and I'm going to base these kits with these older products and sticker sheets that have multiple colors that are going to be my base for the kit. And so it, it just not, I mean, it's not a ton different, but it just started from a different place. And so, um, both, both ways have been, are very successful for me and using manufacturers kits are successful for me. And for those of you who haven't heard me talk about why I use kits and things like that, I've talked about that multiple times um, in my videos. So I apologize if you've heard this before, but the reason I work with kits is because I do have a lot of stash. Um, I've been scrapbooking since I was 15 and I have accumulated a lot. I love to shop. I, <laughs> I, uh, I love the stuff. I do. I love the papers. I love the products. I love everything about this hobby. And now, while I'm better now, I've always been pretty good at purging. Um, and I'm better now at deciphering what I will use and what I won't use and what my style is right now. I still have a ton of stuff. And so I, um, for the longest time, was very overwhelmed and had a hard time sitting down to make a page because I had 50 million options in front of me. And so I was scrapbooking with my best friend and she just had these bags of product. like, And she'd put collections together in these bags and she scrapbooked with them for a little while and then she separated them out or put it away or whatever. And I'm like, oh, 
that's genius. <laughs> Scrapbook with the kit, like the collections, they already matched and everything. And I had done that a little bit, but a lot of times I'd buy collections and then I'd say, nope, you got to use old product first. You can't use this yet. And then that got me into some trouble because by the time I got to a certain collection, um, then I wasn't a huge fan of it anymore. And one collection that is always sticks in my head was this My Mind's Eye collections. Like there was one that was like pink and brown and there was one that was like blue and green and I can't remember the names of them now. It's escaping me. But I loved those collections. There were some of my mind's eye kind of initial, I think some of their beginning kits or collections. And I I didn't use them because I was like, no, I have other product I got to use first. And I was so mad at myself when I had to purge those because they aren't my style anymore. Pink and brown was popular for a while there, but not anymore really. And it's not my style now. So anyway, that that I was like, oh man, I loved these papers when I bought them, and that's just sad to me that I didn't use them. So, um, anyway, so that I started my kit process with collections, and then I'm like, you know what? I have so much product, and and this is when kind of kit collections were coming out, and you'd get a variety of different product kind of put together, different. Um, designers that were put together and I was like I can do this I can make my own kit I have so much product here like why don't I just do what these people are doing and make make them myself and then just work within those parameters and oh my goodness that was life-changing for me that I have been so much more productive and I'm so much more focused and now that's even kind of spread out to you know how I organize my room I keep you know, I keep kits, manufacture kits together until I scrapbook with them. And then I, I split them up into into the, the room as the leftovers are are there. And then I then use those leftovers to make my own homemade kits. And so I just kind of go through whatever I feel like doing at the time. You know, if new kits or new collections are out, of course, I make my, I let myself, not make myself, I let myself play with those first before I make homemade kits. But I was going through, I was doing a de-stash and I, I'm like, oh, I still love these. And I, you know, there's some really fun product here that I'd love to use. How can I motivate myself to use it outside of just remembering that it's here and maybe someday putting it in a kit or using it for something? And I'm like, you know what? I, I want to clear out all these. I want to get them used. And so, you know, because I'm I'm buying the new stuff you know, as it comes out. And so I made this Project Use Your Stash series and it's been, like I said, it's been successful and um, I need to take them to my scrapbook weekends. But I often tell myself for those weekends, it's like I'd much rather just play with new stuff. So it just depends on kind of what time of the year we're going and how much new product I have that I haven't worked with yet. So we'll see next time around. I know I have the new Chamel line and the new Amy or the new um dear lizzie line should be coming to me at some point and um so you know i it just depends it depends on what i have in my stash at the time but i know i did take one of the project user stash kits with me on a weekend and i got a ton of layouts made from it um it was the one that was based off of the alice and correct sticker sheets because i had bought her lines multiple times um and I think I used almost all those up. Like it was such a good exercise for me. And so anyway, that is a little bit about why I work with kits. And so this um, one here, I, again, um, I stick with the four, I think is it four or five papers that, I think four papers that I had already put together, but there were no layering pieces. And so I'm just going to have to know that I'm going to have to cut up some of those papers to use for layering because I didn't really find much more to add in. Um, but I do add in an entire sticker sheet. And like I said, I might have to go back and share a little bit. <laughs> we'll see. But I just felt like it matched so well with the colors and um, it gave me kind of a better eye piece to look at as I was pulling out all the other embellishments and things because I could look at that one sticker sheet and see kind of the variety of colors that were in there and um I just felt like the the blue and the pinks like just the sticker sheet just me was meant to go with that color combo and so I just threw the whole thing in there and said yeah we'll do this for now <laughs> um but anyway so 
And I don't always scrapbook in kits. I When I scrapbook for my client, I sometimes I do. Sometimes if I'm working with a kit and I'm like, you know what, I need to get some of her pages done, I'll go through her photos and find photos that match the kit I'm working with. But more often than not, um, I will go to her pictures and then just find product that matches. Um, it just kind of depends. I do a little bit of both. But I do notice for sure when I'm not working with a kit, when I'm making one, making one of her layouts, um, or even if I'm doing a, a page for Get It Scrapped and I'm not using a kit because I'm focused on, I'm, I'm have a different starting point, whether it be her photos, whether it be an assignment that I'm following, um, it is just a different, my brain has to go to a different place. And that's okay. It's good to do every once in a while, but when I'm just sitting down to just scrapbook and just punch out pages, oh my God, working with a kid is just so much easier. And despite what you would think, it actually makes me more creative. It makes me think differently. It makes me um, try things that maybe I wouldn't try, put things together I maybe wouldn't put together, especially if they're homemade kits. And I see that being um, a big thing with these kits because I think I'm going to have a lot of mixes of things. I'm going to be like, hmm, how can I put these things together and make it look like it's me? Um, but that's the fun part of it. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for listening to me jibber jabber. And I'm sorry these are taking so long to put together. I Like I said, I have to figure out my just my process and it'll get there. And I want to do some live so I can talk you through as I'm thinking through things. And so maybe I'll I'll try to do that. But like I said, it's probably going to be a little while before I'm back with these videos because it's kind of just craziness from here until we leave. But thank you so much for watching and for your kind comments. And um, hopefully, if anything, it just gives you something to watch while maybe you're scrapbooking or maybe working on making your own kits. Um, if you have any questions or comments, let me know. And I will be back for sure in a few weeks here. Um, if not before, we'll see if I can punch something out before we leave, but I kind of doubt it. Um, but you never know. Sometimes if I get in the mood and I'm, I have a few minutes, then I can, I can make it work, but we'll see. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and happy scrapping. Bye-bye.